Okay, what's up guys? I select here. Welcome back to my channel. As promised, here is some of the stuff, uh, cubing stuff, tech stuff, apparel stuff that I got for Christmas. So just to get these out of the way, these are not mine. Um, these three puzzles, as I said before in the last video I got for Patrick. So as I said, this is the Yushin Panda 2x2. Um, I just got it because Patrick really liked the Yushin Tiger 2x2. So now we have uh, both of them to complete the Yushin Bear 2x2 uh, collection, I guess. So yeah, um, I haven't scrambled this up yet or really come that much uh, since it's Patrick's, but yeah, there's this. And then we also got this, since Patrick kind of wanted this, it's a flat um, mirror 2x2 from like Hello Cube, I think it is. This isn't really the color he wanted it in, but uh, most of them are out of stock from Speed Cube Shop. So we just got this, and um, it's kind of hard. I think I've solved it like twice now. And it does uh, like shape shift as you can see, but yeah. Um, so there's that kind of looks like a present. Uh, and then the last puzzle is this um, Dino Cube from Shangshao in white, and it's basically like a Ready Cube. Um, I know a lot of people said the Ready Cube is like a Dino Cube with corners. It's basically the same solve like sledgehammers and stuff. Since it's like edge turning, it turns pretty well. It's kind of greasy out of the box. The only thing I don't really like about it, you kind of see the mechanism through the actual puzzle, and it's kind of loose right now. But yeah, um, so this is the Dino Cube from Shang Show. And then here are my puzzles. So I only got two from the cubicle. And I got my first 5x5, the um, Qi Wu Shuang, and then I got this. So I think I'm gonna start with the Wu Shuang uh, first. There's mats in the box. Ripped it okay. Sorry. All right, so right off the bat, this looks really small, even in the box. Like the centers are really small, um, but yeah, I, I did end up getting it in stickerless because that's what I wanted, and uh, it was actually out of stock in stickerless at Speedy Shop, and it was like for like twenty dollars, so I figured I'd just get it from the cubicle for cheap in stickerless. All right, so wow, that's really nice, really sandy though. I really like the way it turns, except like the middle layers keep coming with me when I, you know, trying to do a T-perm and the layer keeps coming with it. Um, but honestly, it turns really nice out of the box. And then you've got the, um, more finger logo there. And, uh, yeah. Let's test corner cutting. Wow. That's pretty good. Not really sure what's good for 5x5 corner cutting, as it's my first 5x5, but yeah. And then the middle layers. So this isn't magnetic, so I'm not expecting anything like amazing. But honestly, it seems pretty good so far. A little bit sandy, but I honestly like the feeling, and I like the stickerless. It's like kind of shiny, but it kind of has uh, a matte finish. So honestly, I'm really liking it so far, and I'm excited to learn how to solve 5x5 since um, I do enjoy 4x4, and also this has no parity. So yeah. Chi Wuchuang. Nice and cute. And I'm also super excited about this. I've been wanting one of these uh, ever since I started cubing, really. Um, but before this, there wasn't really a way to get one unless you made it yourself. Um, I believe they were mass produced at one point, but that was a really long time ago. And Z-Cube actually just um, started making them. It's a one by two by two. It's basically like the first layer of a two by two. So here it is, and wow. So I got it in the transparent blue. I was just gonna get it in black. Saw that there's white, wasn't surprised by that, but there's also a transparent and this transparent or luminous blue. So I decided to get it in that since it looks cooler. Um, the stickers have this very, very weird texture. It's like, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's an odd feeling. But um, right out of the box, I mean, turning is fine. It's kind of floppy, but it's basically like a flop too, I do. So I don't really like that the Z logo is cut into the sticker. I'd rather not have, you know, a giant logo there on one of the, you know, cubies, but whatever. I honestly don't think I really know how to scramble this. Um, like, how, how do you actually scramble this properly? Actually, I guess that's a good scramble. 
but then you just end up solving it. This is like so easy. Um, yeah, so you can kind of see the mechanism there. Um, when you turn this side, you can, it's kind of visible. But then when you turn this side, um, actually it's visible on, on both sides from what I can tell. Um, so, yeah. I honestly really think this is a really fun puzzle. And it turns really well, and I like the color. So yeah, this is a really cool puzzle from Z Cube. Now I also said apparel, and I've been wanting a Cuban shirt for a while now, but I didn't want to get anything that uh, drew too much attention. So when I was shopping on the cubicle, I actually decided that I wanted the new RGB t-shirt. So here it is. I didn't actually buy it myself. Um, I got it as a gift from someone else. But that's the shirt. I got it. Um, from the cubicle, it was only like $16, $17, and I think it looks really cool. So I'm excited to wear this. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice t-shirt as well from the cubicle. And then this, I didn't even ask for. I just ended up getting this um, tiny like Rubik's Cube by Rubik's. I'm sure it's gonna turn pretty horribly, considering it's a Rubik's brand and it's um, this small, but I don't know. Let me just open it real quick. I had to open. And can I just say, this is such a waste of plastic, by the way. Ow. Ah, gotcha. Wow, this is like really, really small. This is it in my palm. It looks kind of big on camera, but it's honestly not that big. It's probably as big as a cubie on this. Like, let's compare. It's literally the size of one cubie. <laughs> actually smaller on this on this one by two by two so wow it's pretty small all right now let's get into turns uh if we must oh god it literally barely turns all right there's one face that's turning pretty horribly i'm literally having to rotate my wrist to do this all right uh. oh this is so difficult oh it's making such a horrible noise I, I think I'm just gonna, there, that side's broken in, I would say. This side, ugh, not so much. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna do a checkerboard on this and call it quits. There we go. Ugh. This is exhausting. My wrist is hurting so bad already. Um, stretch. Ah, oh, there we go. Finally, I can't even imagine what it'd be like to actually solve this because that took so much effort. But um, it's a pretty cool gift nonetheless, and pretty tiny. I don't think it says on the package it came in how actually the dimensions of it, but yeah. Um, pretty cool novelty puzzle, I guess. All right, so I've got some tech in the background here. Like I said, this would also be some tech stuff. So I think I'm gonna start with this because I'm super excited about this. Um, I have been getting pretty addicted to tech videos lately. I was just originally thinking of upgrading my pretty crappy Logitech mouse at my editing desk setup. I was thinking of just upgrading to slightly better budget Logitech mouse, but I ended up watching a bunch of review videos on Logitech mice, and I ended up splurging for the newest MX Master in uh, light gray or white, so it would match my setup, and I'm super excited about it. And here it is, right in the box. Wow, the presentation is really nice. I, there's literally nothing else in the box, really. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to open this from. So I think it actually opens from the back as well. And that's how you get into it. All right, here we go. Now I can actually slide the mouse out of the box. All right, here is everything. So we've got the manual, whatever, not too big, that's good. I believe this is the charging cable for it. And it comes with the Velcro strap, so that's pretty good. You can use that for cable management, I guess. And then here's the actual mouse itself. Um, let me just take this plastic off. It comes with the dongle, which I think I'll be using just because it's easier. Um, so there's that. And here is the mouse itself. Oh, wow, it feels so nice in my hand, wow. And it's such a nice color. I really just like the look of this. Um, let me just take this off. It's also got the flow technology thing where it can connect to like multiple devices. That was just part of the new update, updated version. 
Wow, so this looks really cool. Wow, there it is. Nice wheel. Also got this side sc scroll bar here. This is really nice, but um, we have one more thing to unbox before I go set everything up. All right, so there's this and it's ugly wrapping in the background. This is actually a boom arm for my blue snowball mic. I just wanted something to get it out of the way. Um, since it was kind of taking up a lot of space. So. Here is the actual scissor arm. Oh, it's got a rubber band on it. Let me take that off. And then here are some clamps, I believe. I think this is actually for the head of the microphone. So I think I'll be using that along with this maybe. And then this is this is the actual clamp for the desk or whatever you're mounting it onto. And then this also came with it. Not really sure what it is, but anyway, I'll just figure it out. But let's um set up some of this stuff now. All right, so it's actually connected to my computer now, and it feels really nice. But the only thing is the um the software to customize it hasn't actually popped up. So I might look that up just to make sure, you know, um, everything's working with this. So I just downloaded it from the internet, and here it is. Um, here's the mouse. Install. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna open the app and uh, see how it works. All right, here we go. So it finally loaded, and wow. So you can actually like literally program like anything. The customizability is insane on this, so wow. I am looking forward to programming this. This software is really nice. I can tell this is already gonna be a great mouse, so. On to the microphone stand. All right, so I also forgot. I have um, two more things to open. This is another tech thing. As you probably can see from the box, these are some speakers. They're just some USB speakers that were like, honestly, $30. Pretty small, which I needed since I don't have that much space on my desk. But I still wanted um, some nice audio speakers. They're USB powered um, and they're white, which matches my setup theme. And they also have these cool blue LEDs, which is really cool. So they also have passive subwoofers on the side. So um, I'm hoping it sounds pretty good. And here they are out of the box and they look really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna go uh, plug these in and uh, see how they form. But first we have the last uh, cube to open. Right, so I also bought this from the cubicle.us. Um, I saw like the Professor Cubers and Red KV uh, 3D printing these and I thought they were pretty cool. I didn't know uh, companies actually made them. This is an infinity cube. It's kind of like a fidget toy type thing, but not as cringy <laughs> as a fidget toy, I guess. Um, and I got it in white because, I don't know, I just thought it would look better. Although, I'm not really sure about that. But yeah, this is kind of like the star cube. If you guys have seen the star cube that looks like a 2x2 two two, and then it shape shifts. I've seen that puzzle in actual stores, but I didn't buy it because it's, it's kind of like a mainstream puzzle. So obviously it's really expensive. But yeah, this is uh, pretty fun and uh, a nice puzzle. So yeah, um, this isn't actually the Moe one. I'm not sure what brand it is, but um, yeah, the Moe one was kind of expensive. And although it did come in colors, it had these weird like little ball things in there. But um, this is uh, pretty fun. But uh, now let's go, uh, let's go set up these speakers. All right, so I just finished hooking up the speakers. And um, I actually ended up doing some routing. As you can see, I have the mic also set up. I had to do it on the side because it wouldn't fit anywhere over here. So I ended up routing the cable behind here. Might revisit that later because it looks uh, meh right now. But uh, as you can see, there's one speaker and there's the other speaker. And I also, um, I know this keyboard isn't wireless, uh, but I ended up just, it looks kind of messy, but I ended up um, like routing some stuff behind the computer. So as you can see, I've got this USB hub that I also received. I've got my mic and one of the speakers plugged into there and the speaker also takes a headphone jack. So that's why that's there. And then I just, there was a lot of cable. So I just decided to take this um, adhesive strip and just put it to the back of the computer. Same with the keyboard, although it's not really sticking that well. So yeah, those two bundles of wires are back there along with the computer cable and stuff. And then, um, the switch for the LEDs is actually right here on this side. So now that they're plugged in, let me get the switch, boom. And there they are, both the LEDs. 
looking pretty sweet. So um, let me go ahead and test these. Alright, so I'm actually charging the mouse right now, and I know, I know, it's supposed to have good battery. Life. Whoa. Um, but I'm, honestly, I don't really care that much about, um, like, prematurely charging it, because I just want to have a full battery. I'm not, like, a YouTuber who needs to review the battery life and test it. So, honestly, I'm not really worried about that anyway, since I'm not really bringing it anywhere. Um, it's not really a portable mouse. Uh, like, the Anywhere Logitech mouse, that'd be more portable. But I just wanted to show you guys after I showed you this, and I know this cable's gross and messy but I I'm just using this to charge the mouse right now um, since it charges through here but I just wanted to show you guys uh, how I have my all my cables and I know some people don't really care about this and at first when I started watching tech videos I didn't really care I was like what's the big deal but honestly it looks so nice my power strip used to be down here and I might show some before and after pictures on screen because I have I actually took a few um, and the reason in the before and after pictures I don't have a mouse pad is because the old, old mouse pad I used to have was just gross, so we threw it out on the spot. So um, that's why I don't have a mouse pad. But I would have a pretty crappy mouse pad um, if it had been there for the photo. But anyway, I mounted this power strip with some adhesive tape. And then I've got my laptop in here, and I only have that up on my desk temporarily. And then, of course, I've got the two lamps, which are new. Um, I've routed this lamp cable here with the cable clip, in addition to the uh, computer, the the computer cable from the Mac. Routed it all the way down here, and then it just goes into the power strip. And um, if you're wondering why this is here, um, this is the only outlet that's connected to the power switch. So in order for the two lamps up there to turn on at the same time, when you flip the switch, you have to have an extension cord. So that's why I kind of have this uh, messy part here. I used to have it on a hook, but it fell. So that's why I have it um, connected, just hanging on to the um, power strip. But yeah, that's what it looks like so far. And then I already showed you guys behind the... Uh, computer i've just got you know uh the cables to the new speakers and to the keyboard mounted there along with the new usb hub but uh yeah i'm probably gonna tuck this away somewhere and just make it a little bit more hey. neat it's kind of too visible for my liking so i'll probably end up uh rerouting it i want to spend money on a headphone hanger for these which by coincidence match my set of things so i'm just gonna put them on the mic thing for now i think that looks good i'm probably gonna end up pushing this out of the way but yeah, I honestly think this looks really good now. Um, I honestly think the setup is complete. I don't think I'll have to be uh, upgrading this anytime soon. Um, I think it looks really, really good. And of course, here's the, some of the cubes that I got. Um, but yeah, so that's all for the tech stuff uh, for now. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, whether, if it was too much tech stuff for you, you can let me know. But honestly, I really like the cubes. Um, and I'm sure Patrick likes these cubes as well, and they will be serving as his prize for winning the cubing trivia. Um, but this is honestly super easy. Like, I, I don't even know how you scramble it, because you really can't go that far scrambling it, like, without solving it. Like, I've already solved it. So this is really easy, but still, at the same time, really fun. Really interesting uh, sticker texture, and I really like the color that it came in. And then this is just a fun fidget toy. Um, nothing really I can say about this. This I'm sure will be great. I'm going to have to break it in. Maybe put some silk, DNM, uh, whatever the need be in there. And then start learning how to solve 5x5 five because five, I honestly don't think I'll have to learn too much stuff except for like last two centers and all that stuff. Solving 5x5 five five centers will be a new concept for me, but I think it'll be really fun since I do enjoy big cubes. And like I said before, there's no parody. So yeah, that'll be really cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the transformation, I guess, of my new setup and all the new cubes I got for Christmas. And I hope you guys had a great Christmas, happy holidays, and best wishes for a great 2018. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next upload.